Hi, uh, in this video I'm going to talk about how to check the health of your compass on your Argicopter. So uh, some people ask, you know, why do we even need a compass? You know, we have a GPS, why don't we just use that? But a GPS, of course, tells you the direction that you're moving in. It doesn't tell you the direction that you're heading in, and uh, both are really important. So um, if you've uh, done um, missions or RTL, uh, you may notice at times that the paths are not perfectly straight. Um, you know, they can be not straight for a lot of reasons. Uh, it could be wind, for example. Uh, it could be your uh, compass declination. Um, it can also just be that your compass is giving uh, inaccurate numbers and uh, the most common cause of, of an inaccurate heading coming out of your compass is uh, is bad compass offsets. Um, so in, in this particular mission for example uh, you can you can see that it's curved off. This last leg here was an RTL and it curved off um, and that, that could have been uh, because of my, uh, compass offsets. I'm going to have a look now see if that's what it was. So. Um, Right, the easiest way to check your compass offsets is to connect with your mission planner, go into the configuration area, then go to advanced parameters, and then advanced parameter list. And I can go down here, look for compass, and I can see my compass offsets right here, offsets X, Y, Z. Uh, these should be in the range of minus 150 to 150. So in this case, actually, they're very good. Actually, they're, uh, you know, minus, minus 28, 26, 7. Those are all actually very, very low. So there's really um, no issue in this particular case. Um, but sometimes I do see, um, you know, um, some very, very large numbers like 300 or, or 600 even. Um, and in those cases, once it gets that bad, uh, there's really, uh, you know, the person's going to get very, very bad headings um, and, and might just fly off in completely the wrong direction, actually, um, you know, when they're in auto mode. So, um, yeah, so you can just check them here. Uh, if, uh, you know, if you do see very large offsets, um, the best solution is really just to move your APM away from any sources of, of magnetic interference, which is probably going to be power cables, um, you know, underneath the APM or uh, ESCs nearby or motors. Um, so uh, yeah, and I've heard actually that uh, you don't actually have to move it very far away, maybe a centimeter or two, uh, because the um, interference um, dies down at uh, the square or maybe even the cube of the of the uh, distance. So. Um, you, you don't actually have to move it very far to, to greatly reduce the interference. Um, right, so, you, so I mentioned how you can check your offsets here. Uh, something else you can do actually, um, if you have T-logs, you can actually graph the, the interference that the motors cause. So I've gone in here, right? Uh, flight data, telemetry logs, T-log came, I'll graph, and hit the graph log button, then pick a T-log from a recent flight, wait for it to parse it, and this little selector screen comes up, and you can find over here the mag field, and you can also find the throttle, which is under the VFR HUD area, so here we are. And uh, the normal value is around 320, so you can see when the throttle is down, it is at 320, which is good. Uh, but as soon as the throttle goes up, um, and you know, this is about 70, 50, well, I don't know, 70% maybe a throttle, um, you can see that immediately the, the mag field vector increases in length. Uh, it doesn't quite double, but it gets pretty close. Um, so this is borderline acceptable. You know, there's always going to be interference. Everybody sees interference. Um, but uh, you know, I'm not exactly sure what the maximum is that we could have uh, and still have a good you know, RTL or loiter, but I'd expect that this is pretty close to it. Um, and so I'd probably recommend to this person that they, they move their APM further away um, and then see if it improves the, the situation. Um, so yeah, that can be useful. Uh, you can actually also see what your offsets are from the T-log as well. And under sensor offset, you can see them here, mag offs X, Y, and Z. Uh, in this case, the compass learn is off for this person, so you don't see them um, moving at all in flight, uh, and they actually look quite low. Um, so that you know, these these offset numbers are pretty pretty okay. Um, in in a in a bad situation, you would see them, um, you know, growing and growing and growing, and so you know, it might be okay for the first few flights, but then after a while, they would grow so large that that the heading uh, would be completely garbage. Um, so, there you go. I guess I've uh, run over the ways to check your offsets. Um, hope that was helpful.